is always creation. Whenever there's a thought, there must be creation. There must be manifestation of that thought because it is law. So, in other words, there cannot be a thought that does not bring about a creation. Now, is it always visible to you? No. Why is it not visible to you? Why is it not taking place? Because it is not your dominant, your in this reality, in this dimension, it is not your dominant vibration. You had that thought, you might have pondered for a while, but then you moved on to something that felt more right, more natural, and you went with it, and then that was your dominant vibration, and that is what came about and came into physical form, which only means that is what you experienced in this dimension. But because thought is creation and creation is thought, it has to manifest, it has to unfold somewhere. In other words, the energy has to unfold somewhere, it has to transform into something, because it always does, it never remains, it never just lingers, it, it is always evolving, it is always expanding, ever increasing, as you know. So, every thought that has been thought is also a manifestation, and that your dominant thought, your dominant vibration is what you bring about into physical reality so you can see it and you can taste it and you can touch it and smell it. If you accept the, the knowing, if you accept your intuitive knowing that you are one with everything, then everyone, if you are one with everything, then everyone you, you encounter, encounter is another you. So what you're encountering is many, many other yous, you see? Mm -hmm. Many, many other yous. But what you are really interested in, what you, what your desire right now is, is the process of creation, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That is what is a dominant thought for you. So the focus on what feels dominant to you right now, it is so important because important because that is what we call alignment. That is when your thought, your desire, your focus, your inner being, your physical being, when all of it aligns, then creation manifests into the visible realm. And that is what you're interested in the most right now. When, when this desire is fulfilled, then you will move on to other desires and other desires. And it, it isn't to say that you can't have multiple desires at the same time. We're just saying where you put your focus on is what is going to manifest the quickest. the quickest. So, what we will tell you though, and what is maybe the most important thing to learn from this or to, to remember from this is that since you now know in a more, in a more dimensional, and this is the correct word here, the more, in a more dimensional way that every thought is creation, even though it does not manifest in your visible reality, in your visible dimension, it manifests somewhere in, in another dimension. So when every thought is creation, it is so important to pay attention and, and really learn to think those thoughts that serve your, serve your desire and the desire of the highest, you see, of your highest, of your inner being, of your highest self. Because when you contemplate those thoughts that are lower frequencies, that are anger and fear and sadness and aggression and violence, then they have to, by law, come into creation in another dimension. Mm -hmm. When they become dominant, then they become, they manifest in this dimension in your reality. So you see why it has been said over and over and over and over again that it is most important to focus and pay attention to what you think and be aware of what you think and consciously, deliberately des de design your thoughts, create your thoughts and learn to, learn to even, we don't like this word particularly, but control them, you see? Mm -hmm. So. As you progress and as all of humanity progresses and as there's more awareness about the thought process and the importance of the thought process, there will be less and less and less undeliberate creations in less and less and less dimensions. So now 
it will be more focused energy throughout the universe. And then when there's more focused energy throughout the universe, when it's not scattered, then all of a sudden you have a, a group, a, a group energy, a mass energy that is moving into the same direction of positive creation. Can you feel the difference? Yes. In this focused energy? Yes. So that is why we will always answer every question that you have by what are you thinking and how are you feeling? Now, when you bring those into alignment and when your dominant thought is positive, then your dominant feeling is positive, then pleasant and beautiful, and then you're on the path of beautiful, harmonious creation. 